friends. I'd like to read for you one of my most favorite stories from when I was a child. Caps for Sale, a tale of a peddler, some monkeys, and some monkey business. Told and illustrated by Esper Slabotkina. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like any ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First he had on his own checked cap, then some a bunch of gray caps, a bunch of brown caps, a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. As he went along, he called, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street, and he walked down the street calling, Caps! Caps for sale! 50 cents a cap! But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, said he. And he walked out of town slowly, slowly, so as not to upset his caps. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, thought he. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put up his hand to feel if they were straight. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. They were all there. So he went to sleep and he slept for a very long time. When he woke up, oh, he was refreshed and rested. But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. All he felt was his checked cap. He looked to the right of him. No caps. He looked to the left of him. No caps. He looked behind him, no caps. He looked behind the tree, no caps. Where were they? Where do you think those caps disappeared to? Then he looked up and what do you think he saw? On every branch sat, on, sat a monkey, and on every monkey was a gray or a brown or a blue or a red cap. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their finger back at him and said, S -s -s -s. This made the peddler angry. So he shook both hands at them and said, You monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook both hands at him and said, S -s -s -s. Now he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot and he said, you monkeys, you, you better give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back and said, S -s -s -s. by this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped both his feet and he shouted, you monkeys, you. You must give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped both their feet back at him and they said, 
What do you think they said? At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. Uh-oh, what do you think happened? Then, each monkey pulled off his cap and... All the gray caps and all the brown caps, all the blue caps and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, and then the red caps on the very top. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to town calling, Caps! Caps for sale! 50 cents a cap! 